Uh, Senator Richard Burr is a Republican from North Carolina. He was at that news conference with fellow lawmakers opposed to the stimulus. Uh, Senator Burr, welcome. Good to have you here today. Thank Great to be with you, Martha. Tell me a little bit about, your, uh, about what you think about this package and whether or not you think we'll see the same kind of reaction on the part of Republican senators when the bill goes to the Senate. Well, let me just say, this isn't a stimulus package. This is a spending package. And I think as you go down it line by line, you find things that would be considered in the normal appropriations process, but over the last 12 years have been rejected. And I think they saw an opportunity to stick it all in here. Uh, I hope that we'll be smart enough to focus on what truly can turn this economy around and put Americans back to work. I'm afraid this bill doesn't accomplish that. Yeah, we've seen a couple of measures drop out of the bill when it was in the, in the House, including the hundreds of millions of dollars for the National Mall and also a birth control measure that was pulled out. Do you think we're going to see some changes in this bill in the Senate, and what are they likely to be? Well, I'm not sure. It's, it's hard to predict, but if I would, uh, did predict today, I would tell you that there are going to be very few changes to it. I, I think that the uh, majority in Congress, the Democrat majority, uh, has every intent of continuing to fund the projects that we see in there. And uh, most of them don't meet the threshold of stimulating economic growth or job creation, uh, but they do fulfill uh, holes that they want to see uh, spending go towards. But Senator, what do you say to those who say, you know what, you had your chance, uh, Democrats are in the, in the majority now, the American people voted them in, and they are backing this idea that if you spend a lot of money on the part of the government, you're going to get the economy going again, which everybody desperately wants. Well, I would say that uh, I understand elections have consequences, and the new leadership that's in place uh, uh, can proceed forward. I don't think that means that Republicans have to agree with them. I think it's our job to point out where they're wrong. And if you look at the Japanese economy throughout the 90s, where they spent stimulus package after stimulus package only to find that it didn't create economic growth, it didn't create job creation, and finally they looked at cutting taxes and they pulled themselves out of uh, the economic problem they were in, that that's a great example for America to look at and say, here's what we shouldn't do and here's what we should do. So are you going to vote for this package in the Senate? And what do you think about your other Senate colleagues, Republicans? Well, I think there'll be quite a few senators that choose to vote against this. Anything short of a major change in the bill, which would include a reduction in the amount of spending, you know, in, in, in about 45 days from the TARP to the omnibus appropriations bill, this Congress will spend $2 trillion of taxpayer money. I'm not sure that my children will even be able to retire the debt on that deficit uh, for their lifetime. So is that, are you saying you're going to vote no? I'll probably be voting no without drastic changes. All right, Senator, thank you very much. Good to have your time today. Thank you. All right. Well,